So I'm standing here in the midst of a big church. <laughs> you see? It's almost a cathedral. This is a church of around 1860 in the midst of Antwerp, Belgium. And that organ is the reason I'm here. So this church is protected as heritage. And I'm speaking soft because there are people here in the church as heritage. So it needs, it falls under certain regulations, it's quite severe. So not to touch, not to change. Yeah. Uh, at least not without permission from the Flemish government or administration. And I'm working here for an architect to make a kind of preliminary inventory of this instrument, which is an interesting organ from Anaisens 1880 about, and so can have a quite symphonic sound, so perfect for the music for César Franck, Charles-Marie Vidor. I was upstairs on the balcony, on the gallery, but it's pitch dark there, so I have made some pictures for the of the instrument I can show you. And so this is part of my professional life, our business, so to say, is basically around these kinds of projects. This is a very small project though. Uh, the church is now, maybe I say that, uh, sold to the Russian Orthodox community, who, well, has their activities here. It's complete community inside Antwerp, we're in the midst of Antwerp here. Um, and so yeah, there is a kind of, yeah, there's a new evolution. A church in Belgium, traditionally 100% Catholic, is under a lot of pressure to change and to think about what to do with all these buildings because there are not so many people anymore. I don't know the percentages, but it's way less than 50% who call themselves real Catholic with a need to go every Sunday to the services. And so we have a lot of these buildings here, which this is a beautiful building. Like the windows are, were taken out for restoration, so it has a little bit of a different feel and obviously the building really needs restoration. But for the government this is a problem uh, or a big challenge because we have many of these churches and if you see the cultural landscape in Flanders, that culturally, I mean, on a government level, we are separated from the south of Belgium. It's a federal state. So we have here in France, Flanders our own regulations, but it's not so much different from, from the rest of uh, Belgium and also not the rest of Europe. Um, but we have a lot of these churches and so what to do with them? France, Germany, it's different than Belgium. We are not proud enough, I think. But yeah, these buildings cost money and if the local communities cannot carry the costs, well, then the government has to step in. And moreover, we have here this unique legislation still dating from Napoleon, where during the French Revolution, many um, abbeys and churches were just closed and uh, not always destroyed, but ripped of their wealth and, and, and furniture and, and art. And so Napoleon made the agreement with the churches to have an eternal payback system, where if the church community uh, was lacking money to do uh, the things they need to do, that the government or the local communities administration would step in. And that's still today um, valid, but everybody can see that, I mean, if we have so many churches and only 15% or so would be needed for the Catholic services, then there is things to do. So these organs, these projects were part of my life much more five, six years ago than now. We have still some projects. The Authentic Sound has to develop as a business that takes over what we were doing in the past. And what we were doing in the past was funding actually also the start of Authentic Sound. So that's challenging and there are a lot of projects coming up. I will inform you on that. Um, but when Sophie was the age of Evelyn, she was often running in these churches while Anya and I were making inventory of projects like that. So I have made a lot of drawings, cut drawings as an architect and still again there are some projects ongoing now big projects um, and so I'm still doing that but you see 
if the church is declining my work is declining as well so that's a little bit of situation so and now up to Axel to see how my girls are doing so just coming outside this church I can show you a little bit how the building looks you see it's a really it's actually a big church it's almost a cathedral and many of these buildings were built in the second half of the 19th century where there was a population growth maybe thanks to the industrialization maybe i don't know you see it's quite large and interestingly they built all these churches according to the to a kind of gothic or a roman style so neo-gothic or neo-roman i think they chose for a neo-roman style here because of the money so very expensive to build a gothic church so i'd say so that's the front of the church let's see if i can make a picture here for a thumbnail would be cool so vlogging in the center of Antwerp is something new for me uh, but yeah I have 10 minutes to walk so that's Antwerp Central Station on the back and see Beethoven 5th it's a beautiful building I will walk inside the, st the station with you and uh, share some footage and I have to run for my train Otherwise, I will be, have to wait another hour, which is no problem either, because I have my laptop here and I'm working on a kind of basic tempo guide for you. Not sure how to set this really up and how detailed it should be, but that's something I started to work on today and it will be a work package. So divide it into little bits and pieces that I can work on every day. It's a really cool place here. Look at it. My train would be on track three. I really don't know. I thought it was five. So let's check it again. It's not a problem when I miss it, but I like to spend as much time at home as I can. Okay. Dat was juist op tijd. Ja, ik was. Sophie was iets, die ligt in de zetel en die was iets aan het roepen. En nu was ik met, een, met, een, met het gsm, maar natuurlijk aan mijn bureau. Vandaar. Ik ben terug in de auto. Aha. Dat is rap, hè? Ja. Ik heb dat zo mistig als ik vertrok en het is nu zo. It's one of the things we always do. When we return home from an appointment somewhere. We text each other or we call each other here in the car, it's hands-free, so it's not so difficult, it's very easy. So to let each other know we are on our way home, it's important for us, our little family. I think you can, you have seen that sometimes on the videos we don't share too much of our personal stuff, but um, the family life is important for us, it's, it's a priority, it's the number one. Taking care of each other and Knowing there is a place to go to where people are taking care of you, well, that's that's an important thing in life. But sometimes I think people should consider that and be aware of that, that the, that the real value of life, it lies in the small thing. Hope you like this vlog and let me know in the comments what your reactions and your thoughts are always interesting for me to read. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.